Okay, hi, I'm back. Um, I am fresh and clean from the shower and a little warmed up and feeling a little more awake. So I thought I would uh, maybe just give you a little background about me and my singing and stuff like that while I'm putting on a little makeup because this isn't gonna work out. Um, a lot of people wanna know when I started singing. Um, I first started taking private voice lessons when I was 12 years old. Um, this all happened because my sixth grade music teacher, Mrs. Pryor, called my mom and said, you know, I think Elizabeth likes singing and I think she is good at it and I think she enjoys it. Would she be interested in taking private voice lessons? I know of a local woman who teaches kids. Um, my mom, of course, was excited. She had no idea that that was even a realm of possibility for me. She asked me, I said, sure, sounds like fun. So I started taking lessons and the lessons is a, you know, that's maybe not lessons, maybe more like got to go hang out with a friend. We played through some music and sang and had a great time. You know, we did these great pieces, these great musical theater pieces. We didn't work on opera or classical music at all. Um, you know, 12 years old is pretty young. And to start singing classically at 12 years old, opera especially, is a little, a little, a little much. It was for me, at least. So I worked with her for about two years. And then when I turned 14, I started working with another woman who was in charge of the music department at my school, who was a real live opera singer. Um, went to school had a degree in vocal performance, master's degree in vocal performance, and, um, you know, dedicated her life to teaching young women about singing and music and, and choir and all the best things. Um, so she was the one who started putting my focus on classical singing. We started with folk songs, um, the 24 Italian arias, which all you singers know about. Uh, that kind of stuff. And I worked with her until I graduated from high school and not just in a private voice setting, but also uh, in a small all, all girls singing group, my, our magical group for my high school. Um, and that was really I, where I really fell in love with singing, fell in love with singing with a group, um, learned about learning music, memorizing music, the speed of having to memorize music, and I really do give most of the credit for being able to do this job at the Met to being in that group back in the 90s. So um, fast forward, I did my undergrad degree in vocal performance at the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, and that was fabulous. I had a wonderful teacher there, Mr. Charles Lynham, and um, really a really great music department. It's still really great. There's still a lot of people there that I worked with. David Hawley um, is the opera director. Wonderful, wonderful productions. I was in my first opera ever there, the uh, Amal and the Night Visitors. To this day, still one of my favorite pieces ever. Um, so then I went to the Eastman School of Music for grad, grad work, where I worked with Ashley Putnam, who was also fabulous, and Stephen Daigle, who was the opera director there, and I believe he still is. Um, wonderful, wonderful director, always willing to give people a chance and um, to take to take a chance on people who maybe were not the front runners at the time at that school. Um, so uh, great, great learning experiences there as well. And then I moved to New York City, the Big Apple to um, just get right down to it. And I immediately got a job babysitting and started going on auditions and, you know, did that for 12 years until I got into the Metropolitan Opera Chorus. So it was a long road. Um, I auditioned four times, four years, four separate years for the chorus. Um, the fourth audition earned me a callback. And after the callback, that was when I got the call. So. It was a life-changing moment. Um, I still get really dorky and emotional when I think about receiving that phone call from Maestro Palumbo. It was, um, a, it's a huge honor 
Um, and like I said, I'm grateful every day and I pinch myself every day. I can't believe that that's where I get to go to work. When I'm on the stage at the Met, it's, it's a, it's a dream. It's really a dream come true. And I, I, um, I can't express enough gratitude for that. So let's move on. Um, so after I get ready here, I'm going to take the ladies out because they need to do some business. And then I'm going to head on out to work. I usually give myself about 30 minutes door to door. I live off the two, three line subway. It's the best subway in New York city. So, um, I will probably see you again, maybe on the subway platform. I don't know. Let's get crazy. Bye.